What's up enthusiasts today on Workbench Wednesday, we are going to do some maintenance on our Katana magazines. Now, when you first get these, they are not lubricated, so they kind of, they stick a little bit, which in most cases hasn't impeded any performance because for springers, I'm generally not shooting at the fastest rate of fire, but I do want this to be able to, you know, slide smoothly and, and, and have a nice feel to it when loading or using it generally. Uh, also, I do want to mess with some of the tabs in here because the tabs, when you remove them, do allow you to create a start, a, a sort of stop to prevent you from dry firing when you're out of darts. And I think that was a really neat idea to include. So let's go ahead and pop these open. I uh, really have been looking forward to getting these out on the field and testing to be able to do my complete review on the system for these. Uh, I have, like I said in, in a previous video, I have my initial thoughts, but I want to save them for the actual review. Now, if I can get these screws out, that would be, you know, a good start. But these should come apart relatively easily. Um, the only part that may give us some trouble is these tabs right here at, the, oh, okay. Well, I already, I guess I did enough to pop that open down here. If I hold and squeeze, that'll start to pop out. I don't know. Well, we're gonna pop these tabs out. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, so it should be pushing this piece in right here and prying this piece up. Go believe that. Okay, so it did, but it just popped right back in. Okay. That could become annoying. If we don't separate this magazine, hmm. Okay. So maybe this is, isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping. I don't know. Let's 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 see. So we pull and we pry, and then we push that through should come through and it should pop out I would hope but it's not okay so uh, roadblock All right, there's screws are out all right so we, I mean, we get we get some screws out we got we got, we got progress there let's just let's focus on one of these let's Let's just get one of these done. We'll pretend those other ones don't exist right now because if I look at those and continue to think about how this, oh, as I, as I say, oh, the problem, it, it pops right open. So I don't know if, I'm wondering if having the screws in there still were providing just enough uh, resistance to prevent that from popping open. If I can get this in here, there we go. Yeah, okay. So now we're starting to, now we're starting to cook. And then this last one here. This one feels a bit more tender. I don't really, I don't want, I don't want to break it. I don't, because it's so thin and so small. I have concerns of, you know, prying too hard. Because the rest of this is split open, this other tab seems to have more pressure on it or something, preventing me from getting this screwdriver underneath it. Jeez. Really? You, you just don't want to participate. That's, that's not nice. It's not nice at all. Wow. I can get under the small tab, but this, this guy is like, he is stuck in there. Hold on, let's, let's see if we can pop this 
last guy over here. Okay, yeah, so we got this last one here. Now, we just need this. Work with me. This is uh, mildly frustrating. Not gonna lie, like I cannot, I am actually like digging into the plastic and it is just not, it is not budging. Not, not, okay, but my fingernail works. Okay, logic. Okay. Come on. Work. Work. Really? Do not, there we go. I'll try fingernail again. Except all my fingers are too big. Oh, I can't, I can't, it doesn't want to go. Work with me, come on. I don't know what that high-pitched voice is. It's like some kind of Mickey Mouse or something. I don't know. Oh, almost. <sighs> wow. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. I think there's just so much... Like flex on this that it doesn't it doesn't want to let me oh there we go oh okay Whew. one down this may only be one in this video with how long that took but now got in here there's there's like it's it's dry it's it's dry as like it's the desert in here. We're, we're, the inside of the Jet Katana mags is the Sahara Desert. Plain and simple. Uh, so we've got some Super Lube. Uh, fingers crossed this is the right stuff to use. It's silicone grease, uh, which I believe shouldn't interact negatively, but I mean, we're not going to use much. We're just using just a dab will do. I don't want this to be like dripping wet in here or anything. I just, I just want it, I just want it to be smooth. I don't want the mag to, you know, or I don't want, yeah, I don't want the follower in the mag to be scratchy and, and unpleasant. I want it to be just, yeah, have a nice time. I want it to have a good day when it's, you know, sliding up and down, providing me with darts. I want it to have a nice, a nice happy life. And I think, uh, just a little bit, a little bit should do everything we need. Let's grab here, make sure there's no like excess floating around. I think we're, I think we're fairly good. Let's see. It does seem like it's acting favorably now as compared to, or compared to, like granted we don't have the pieces together, but it seems like it, it should have a nicer life now. Um, while, we're, while we've got this open actually, uh, I do want to pop off this tab right here. And I'm only gonna pop one off because I want to keep one side intact just in case and the other will be our dart stop side. That'll also give me a visual indicator of which side is my front and back so I don't load my magazines incorrectly. Uh, these clippers may actually be too dull for this as they're not seeming to cut through at all. I mean, they're denting it, they're crimping it, but we're not getting through there. So let's see, what else, what else I got in here? I got anything else within arm's reach that will do the job? 
I don't think I do. So that's actually... See, I think these have been just used for far too long. Uh, but it's good to know that these are, you know, they don't just fall apart. I'm putting... Ugh, my body weight on there and it's not yeah so you need something sharp and you need something strong to get through these unless i am just completely incompetent which hey it's entirely possible but uh those are not falling off so that's something i'm gonna have to do another time uh but that is going to come off so let's go ahead and re situate everything and pop this in now there's a couple ways we could do this we could try to, to just set it in and, and try and squish it in, or we can try, oh, uh, yep, oh. or we can do a top-down approach and squeeze the bottom in at the end, which I think may be the way to go. So let's pop this on. Gotta get all these tabs on the outside. Oh. Bad, we need you on the inside, follower. That's that's your job. Okay. Now let's squeeze this spring back. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Alright. Apparently I'm not good at this. But we're learning. We're learning. It's a process. And I, I, I may tend to be more ginger with, with some of the things. So we've, we're just going to try and stuff it in there. Uh, I may be more ginger with my things than I need to be at times because I fear breaking them. Um, especially since one of my worker mags just broke recently. Uh, I have that concern of breakage. I think we're top, 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 top. I think we're loaded, so let's start popping things back into place. All right, hold on. That is slightly off alignment. If you can see this little tab here is, it's like it's off center. Try and push that into place real quick though before this is i mean this isn't completely closed but that definitely definitely feel a difference what is what is going on here these little tabs don't don't want to pop into place that's clearly that's not a good thing need need you to get in your hole I need you to go home it's time it's time for dinner come find your seat at the table and by seat at the table I mean pop into place right here Ooh, almost almost yeah okay there's one I'm holding the follower out of the way with my other hand which actually I think is helping need to push this. So it's like it's hitting the lip on this instead of going up. So I'm trying to push it both ways. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's put the screws back in. Then we'll compare the two. Uh, the one that is lubricated and one that is not. And we will see how different they are in terms of smoothness and sound and, and whatnot. Um, so we've got not, not lubed. Definitely a difference. Let's, uh, so we push down, it kind of, it can get a little bit sticky. As you see, it, it held before it popped back up. That is way smoother. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and 
do this for the rest of these off camera because uh, that took a good uh, close to 15 minutes or so. But yeah, that is popping open a Jet Katana and lubing it up. It wasn't too bad. I just, you know, I, I, I tend to be careful with these types of things. I could have gone quicker had I not been as concerned. But uh, yeah, I am looking forward to trying this out and getting this out to the field and getting my thoughts back to all of you. So let me know your thoughts and uh, thank you so much, guys. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.